movement disorder. So, good afternoon guys. We're going to discuss about movement disorder. So, movement disorders are, group, are a group of conditions characterized by alteration in normal motility, posture or tone, alone or in combination. Movement abnormalities may be seen with lesions of the cere cerebral hemisphere, cerebellum, brainstem, and basal ganglia. Most common sites of abnormality are as a basal ganglia, or the extra pyramidal system. So, control of motor function. The activities of the basal ganglia and the cerebellum modulate the corticospinal and the cortical brainstem spinal system often referred to as extrapyramidal system. So, here are the categorization of movement disorder. There is the pyramidal syndromes, under that is the spasticity, then the basal ganglia disorder, natunga siya sa tatlo, then the cerebellar disorder, under na is magka-attack siya. Then, ang basal ganglia disorder is na-divide into three, the hypokinesias, the hyperkinesias, and the miscellaneous, or motor sensory behavioral. The hypokinesia will manifest akinesia and rigidity. Hyperkinesia will have tremor, dystonia, myoclonus, chorea, atitosis, thick stereotypes. Then the miscellaneous motor sensory behavioral is the compulsion, mannerism, akatasias, restless legs. So, among, among these three, we're going to discuss the hyperkinesias, Hyper, the hyperkinetic movement. So, due to imbalance of activity in the spinal, activity in the complex basal ganglia circuits related to excessive dopaminergic activity in the basal ganglia, it includes tremor, chorea, vagismus, anatosis, myoclonus, tics, and dyskinesias. So... There are also Parkinsonism, a hyperkinetic movement disorder with overall paucity of movement with the exception of tremor. Dystonia is also a combination of hypokinesis and hyperkinesis with the dominant picture of increased tone caused by agonist and antagonist for contraction with rare dystonic tremor. So this is the basal ganglia which includes the cortex the substantia nigra, parts compacta, the caudate, and the putamen, putamen, subthalamic nucleus, globus pallidus, and substantia nigra, par, pars reticulata, and the thalamus. So, first, we're going to discuss the chorea. Chorea means dance. The, um, it is the irregular, unpredictable, brief, jerky, tijeti movement that are usually of low amplitude. Semi-purposeful, if sub subtle, it can be missed, may be generalized, segmental, lo or localized. So, so among, among these three, we're going to discuss the hyperkinesias, Hyper the hyperkinetic movement. So, due to imbalance of activity in the spinal activity in the complex basal ganglia circuits related to excessive dopaminergic activity in the basal ganglia, it includes tremor, chorea, vagismus, anatosis, myoclonus, tics, and dyskinesias. So, there are also Parkinsonism, a hyperkinetic movement disorder with overall paucity of movement with the exception of tremor. Dystonia is also a combination of hypokinesis and hyperkinesis with the dominant picture of increased tone caused by agonist and antagonist for contraction with rare dystonic tremor. So this is the basal ganglia which includes the cortex the substantia nigra, parts compacta, the caudate, and the putamen, putamen, subthalamic nucleus, globus pallidus, and substantia nigra, par, pars reticulata, and the thalamus. So, 
First, we're going to discuss the Korea. Korea means dance. The, um, it is the irregular, unpredictable, brief, jerky, fidgety movement that are usually of low amplitude. Semi-purposeful, if sub subtle, it can be missed, may be generalized. The process of Korea is hereditary, dominant Huntington's disease, recessive Wilson's disease, um, auto, it can be autoimmune, rheumatic chorea, chorea gravid arum, systematic lopus erythematus. Um, it can be also metabolic, the hypo, hy, hypo or hypernatremia, hypo, hyperglycemia, hypokalemia, renal failure, toxic, toxins, mercury, carbon monoxide, drugs, neuroleptics, um, the example is the target dyskinesia, motoclopramide, dopa, L-dopa, anti-convulsant steroids, oral contraceptives. It can be also inflammatory um, sa HIV, AIDS, encephalitis. It can be also vascular, the basal ganglia infarcts. So the epidemiology of movement disorder classifications are causes of Korea in Africa is 62 over 100,000 rheumatic Korea, 21 over 100,000 Huntington's Korea, 17 out of 100,000 vascular disease, and 12 out of 100,000 post encephalitic. Sample of 42,000 participants from 7,000 families in ancient Egypt. Athetosis. Athetosis is a slow continuous stream of sinus withering movements, typically of the hands and feet. The causes are dyskinetic motor fluctuation in Parkinson's disease, acetoid cerebral palsy. If athetosis becomes faster, it sometimes blends with chorea, for example, choreoathetosis or choreoathetoid movements. Balismus. It is an essentially focal form of chorea. Hemibalism is proximal high amplitude flailing chorea limited to one side of the body. Bibalism if bilateral. Monobalism if in a single limb. The causes are it is usually vascular, for example, basal ganglia infarct that is usually in the subthalamic nucleus and metabolic and have a good response to antipsychotics, usually self-limiting. Ticks. It, is, it consists of abnormal movements and abnormal sounds, vary in severity over time, usually preceded by uncomfortable feeling or sensory urge that is relieved by carrying out the movement may be simple or complex and is often suppressible. Yes. Of course. It is an unable to sit still. The feeling of inner general restlessness that is reduced or relieved by moving about. Complex and usually stereotype movements can be both generalized and focal can usually be briefly suppressed, and most common cause is iatrogenic. So, the meaning of iatrogenic is arablang ng halin sa mga procedural sa, ano, sa hospital, halin sa mga healthcare providers. Approach the patient with hyperkinesia. Uh, you need to take history taking for patient description of problems, course of present illness, age of onset, past medical history, birth and family history, infections, and drug or toxin exposures. Neurological examination that involves spend time 
observing the patient overall. Then established type of movement disorder like hyperkinetic. Then established pattern of movement disorder. For example, focal versus segmental versus generalized. Uh, particular characteristics of the movement disorder. Uh, rhythmic or intermittent rest, posture, or action, precipitating features that involve starter. So starter. for the treatment, there is no curative or preventive treatments are known. Picks often are not the worst problem. This is a chronic disorder, and usually the goal is long-term benefit rather than quick improvement at any cost. Symptoms frequently improve or worsen over any period of time, even in untreated PS. Corollaries of these principles include the following. Treatment is not always needed. Treatment should be directed first at the most troublesome symptoms. Apparent success or failure of any treatment may be coincidental. Beginning with reasonable trials of single agent is usually better than rushing to high doses of polypharmacy. So, for the PT intervention, we need motor learning strategies, exercise training, Lee Silverman voice treatment, big program, functional training, balance training, locomotion training, pulmonary rehabilitation, aerobic exercise, group of home exercises. So, so all this PT intervention will help the patient nga malesen ang ilang uh, movement disorder but na totally nga ma-cure gid ang um, ilang uh, disorder